Okay, so this is Zelda Beast with his Switch. So I thought while I can, I could do a video about the Nintendo Switch. Since I don't have one, and Zelda Beast, I highly recommend you go to his channel in the description. Zelda Beast, of course. So I thought I could do a video about his Switch and maybe show a few things about the Switch since this is a tech channel. Okay, well, our friend Zelda Beast plays ARMS, a wrestling game. I'm going to cover, like, the specs of the console. So, this is the Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock, Joy-Con controllers, Joy-Con strap, and Joy-Con grip. The size of the Nintendo Switch console. It's approximately 4 inches high, 9.4 inches long, and 0 0.55 inches deep. Of course, with Joy-Cons attached. Note, the depth from the tip of the analog stick to the tip of the ZL slash ZR buttons is 1.12 inches. Weight, approximately 0 0.66 pounds. Remember, approximately 0 0.88 pounds when Joy-Con controllers are attached. Screen, multi-touch capacitive touch screen with 6.2 inch LCD screen, 1,280 by 720. CPU slash GPU, NVIDIA custom Terica processor. Storage, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, a portion which is reserved for use by the system. Users can easily expand storage space using micro SDHC or micro SDXC cards, up to 2 terabytes, sold separately. Networking, Nintendo Switch can be connected to the internet via a wireless, of course, IEEE -E -E 802.11ABGNAC with Bluetooth 4.1. However, in TV mode, Nintendo Switch can be connected by using a wired LAN adapter. However, that's sold separately. I'm not doing it. Video output up to 1080p via HDMI in TV mode. Also, up to 720p via built-in screen and tablet mode and handheld mode. Audio output. Com capable of 5.1 channel linear PCM output. Output via HDMI connector and TV mode. Speakers are stereo. Buttons, power button slash volume button. Headphone slash microphone jack. 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Game card slot. Nintendo Switch game cards. Micro SD card slot. Compatible with micro SD slash micro SDHC slash micro SDXC memory cards. Note, once the micro SDXC card is inserted, a system update will be necessary. An internet connection is required to perform this update. Sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, and brightness sensor. Now, the switch likes to operate, uh, it's operating temperature and stuff, as 41 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 20 to 80 degrees humidity. Internal battery, lithium ion battery, which is 4,310 milliamps. Battery life, it's approximately 2.5 to 6.5 hours. Note, the battery life will depend on the game supply. For instance, the battery lasts approximately 3 hours for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Charging time, approximately 3 hours when charging while the hardware is in sleep mode. Next, we have the Nintendo Switch Dock. The size is approximately 4.1 inches high, 6.8 inches long, and 2.12 inches deep. Weight, approximately 0 0.72 pounds. Output, USB port. USB 2.0 compatible and there's two on the side one on the back there's also the system connector to you know connect to the switch there's an AC adapter port for power on the dock an HDMI port for the dock next up we have our Joy-Con controllers size approximately 4.02 inches high 1.41 inches long and 1.12 inches deep Weight on the Joy-Con left controller it's 1.7 ounces, and on the Joy-Con right controller it's 1.8 ounces. I don't know why, that's just how it is. Buttons on the left Joy-Con we have left stick, up, down, left, right, L, Z, L, S, L, S, R, 
and the buttons are capture button, release button, and sign X button. On our right Joy-Con controller, we have right stick A, B, X, Y, R, Z, R, S, L, S, R, plus the buttons, which are home button, release button, and sign X button. Next, we have wireless for the Joy-Cons, Bluetooth 3.0 for our left one, and Bluetooth 3.0 slash NFC for the right one. Don't know why, it's just how it is. Sensor, accelerometer, and gyroscope on our Joy-Con left. And then, however, on our right stick, or not right stick, our Joy-Con right, we have accelerometer, gyroscope, motion IR camera too, which it has a camera for some reason. That's actually pretty cool, to be fair. Anyway, vibration has HE rumble. Battery life, it rocks. They'll last approximately 20 hours. This is an estimate. The battery life will be shortened depending on the usage of it, of course. Charging time, approximately 3 hours and 30 minutes. Note, Joy-Con controllers will be charged by attaching them to the console or charging grip connected to the power supply. Next, we have Joy-Con strap. I would like to say, don't put these on backwards or you'll have a very bad time trying to get them off. Because they'll, like, stick on. There's a way, but it's really complicated. Anyway, the size of these is approximately 3.98 inches high, 0.57 inches long, and 0.55 inches deep, and the weight is approximately 0.66 ounces. Next, we have the Joy-Con grip. These are where the Joy-Cons slide on, and it's kind of like a real controller. The size is approximately 3.98 inches high, 5.67 inches long, and 1.58 inches deep. Weight is approximately 0.21 little pounds. I mean. Hey guys, so here's Zelda Beast doing a gaming part of his video. So I'm reviewing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. So the first thing I want to talk about is the game's tutorial itself is amazing because it does not feel like a tutorial. You get all the things you need right early on in the game and then it chucks you out into this massive open world. Now, the reason I say it's open world is because it is massive if you look at the map. And then, also, the things it gets you at the beginning of the game are runes. They can do absolutely anything. There's Cryonis, which I just used, which can make pillars of ice and water. There's also Stasis, which is really useful for freezing things in time. Magnesis, which can manipulate metal objects, and bombs, which, well, you know what those do. <laughs> but what makes it so open world is that you can climb things, such as this. You can climb anything in Breath of the Wild, which is truly amazing. Speaking of the open world I've been talking about, here is the amazing open expanse of Breath of the Wild. Right now it's actually raining, which is kind of annoying, but you can still see a lot of the world from here. So, the next thing I want to talk about is combat. Breath of the Wild the combat is very intricate and very fun to do. Uh, I'll show you some combat with an enemy up here that I'm pretty sure will come out pretty soon. What's really cool about Breath of the Wild is you can do many jumps, jump attacks, and many different kinds of attacks. So, here's an enemy up here. I actually need to put on my Thunder Helm because otherwise I'll be struck by lightning. But, um, here we go. Breath of the Wild's combat you're about to see is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure. So this is the weakest type of enemy. So I'll probably kill him fairly quickly. But yeah. See, I just didn't jump attack him, which is one of my favorite attacks. Moving on from combat, story is very interesting. Granted, Breath of the Wild story is not the greatest, but no one has really figured out how to do the best kind of story in a game yet. So. In Breath of the Wild story, no spoilers by the way, you have to go around the world and find different places to obtain different bits of the story, which is really fun and something I really enjoy doing. Moving on from the story segment, we have the 
the hardness, which is the difficulty. Breath of the Wild is very hard at first, as you have little weapons that break very easily, and you die a lot because you have low armor. Later in the game, though, it becomes fairly easy, and you die a lot less. However, in the new DLC for Breath of the Wild, which I have purchased, there is a very special feature called Master Mood, in which it actually does keep significant challenge throughout the whole game, which I would really recommend getting. In terms of other things, all things considered, Breath of the Wild is an amazing game, which I really love. I would give Breath of the Wild a 9.5 out of 10 for amazing graphics, amazing open world gameplay, and story and combat, all of which I think were very worthy of a Zelda game. Until next time, Zelda Beast out.